Hello, in this quick introduction I'm going to show you how we can create one repository, one project to share our code in between Angular and native script. So basically this is the page where we have native script and you can see here with native script you can pick a plain JavaScript, you can go Vue.js or you can go for Angular. Angular so far is the most popular option here and we will do that. Apart from that, that you can have with native script uh, two applications, one for iOS, another for Android, you can also have a web app because Angular is also a web framework. So how can we actually share the code in between the mobile in, in native script and the Angular? I will show you that. So here we are on the page uh, that's a GitHub native script schematic and that will help us creating uh, one common repository and we will be able to uh, have a mobile uh, version and also web version. So first thing first, we'll need to have Angular CLI installed. I have that in, in already installed on my computer and I also will need to install native script schematics like that. So just copy that and put it in your terminal. So this is the command to run the uh, mobile application, but this is native script only solution and that will work for Android and iOS. We are interested in having share code. So this, this section here, web and mobile code sharing project, you just need to copy that and paste it in your terminal. We will do that. So I will go to desktop and I will paste it here. What I can also do here, you have some extra options and I will use option sample and that will generate a some sample for me so I don't, I, that will be good for you to see what's actually inside. So sample, I'll pass it like that, enter. And basically what we are doing here, I will try to scroll up, we do ng-new, ng-new is a command from Angular CLI, so ng stands for Angular, new, new project, and then we pass parameters, collection to use native script schematics. This is what we installed before. And then my shirt app, this is the name of our application. Then we pass a flag shirt and also sample to generate some sample for us. And it will take a while and it will uh, set up the project for us. And that's been done. As you can see here, successfully initialize a git. That's the last command. So we have our project. I will open Visual Studio Code. Then I can do open our folder. My shirt up. And this is our uh, project open in, in Visual Studio Code here. So what do we have here? Basically, we have a merge version of Angular application and native script application. We do have uh, here package.json and that's all the dependencies for both projects. So we have our name, we have native script, we have much more scripts here because this will uh, combine uh, also Android and iOS with the uh, ng-serve, which is uh, the web, and the dependencies are optimized and picked for for both web and mobile. So that's it uh, in the package. So we don't need to do anything there. So source is the source of our application. So let's open what actually has been created for us and let's see that. I will start the server here. So I will do ng-serve and let's try to share, serve the web version first and see what's, what's in there. Okay, that's been served. So let's go to the browser, localhost, and you can see here that's a content. We see that, that list, because we specify sample as a, one of the uh, flag we uh, passed. Without that, you wouldn't have that, you will have a simple hello world uh, with, with some Angular logo in here. But in, instead of uh, mm, that hello world, we'll have a uh, kind of a sample application. When I click on any of this, I will go to the detail here. So it's a master detail, a typical uh, view, and that has been set up for us. Also all the components and it says, it says has been created for us. So we have a home, 
component. We have Barcelona because that's a list of Barcelona players and we have a player detail. That's the page when we click on the player and then we have a list of players here. We have some services and all of that has been created for us. And that will serve both web application and also mobile application. So I will do Ctrl C here and let's try to run the mobile now and see how it works. Uh, take a look here. We don't have a platforms here. So what you can do is you can add the platform, but instead of having platform, you could uh, run it and it will be added for you automatically. So we will uh, start with iOS first. TNS stands for Teller Telluric Native Script and then run iOS and then we have to put bundle here. That's the requirement. If you don't put it bundle, it's not going to work. So TNS run iOS or Android and then dash dash bundle. And let's for our application to bootstrap and see how it looks like in the emulator. And you can see here application is starting and we have a list of players, the same list of players as we had in the web version. I can click on any of this icon and I can go to the details uh, page. So pretty much it's working the same as it was working in the web app and we don't have to do anything else. We share the same code and as we can go here in the source, we do have a few things different. First, we have one component TS. Uh, TS it's a TypeScript, but we have two HTML. One HTML, it's typical HTML for uh, for the web. Another with the TNS HTML, that's a layout for mobile. So that's the only difference at this point that we have uh, two different uh, layouts. So you can stylize this in a different way. You can use a different CSS uh, style for both uh, templates if you uh, like. And as you can see here, player detail also have two HTML, but they can share the whole uh, logic in the components. So the components will stay for both and serve the both. And then you will need to just uh, change the different HTML files. Before we'll finish, let's uh, take a look how it looks like on Android. So we'll do Control C here, and then I will do TNS run Android bundle and see how it looks like in Android. And now application is starting on Android. And we have it running here. As you can see here, a list of uh, items. I can click here and I'm in the uh, details here. Let's take a look what has been created for us. You can see platform whenever I run these two commands, the platform has been added with Android and iOS into it. And uh, uh, that can be removed and it, it could be easily recreated whenever we run these uh, commands. So it's not part of the repository, neither is hooks or node modules. So basically, if you want to put it on the Git, everything, um, source, uh, app resources, and all that files would be included. The hooks, node modules, and platforms are not part of the repository. So, uh, so that's it. This is how you can actually create one project. There is a little bit, a bit of uh, things that you will need to um, be aware uh, that you sometimes when you want to use something in the service or a component and you will use a specific library, you need to have uh, in mind that that library might not be available for other platforms. So if you use some something for a native script, you also need to uh, find a solution for Angular and you can change or you can create a service that will provide different solution for you. Mm -hmm. But if you are not sure how to do this, I have a course on uh, Udemy and uh, I recorded uh, that's I think uh, three and a half uh, hour uh, long course and that's native scripted Angular code sharing. I explain more in details how we can handle uh, this kind of situation and how to create a full application uh, with uh, that solution. So I'm creating a mini application that will work on the mobile and uh, and the web. So if you're interested, I, pro I will provide you a link uh, below this video with a coupon code for, uh, for this tutorial if, you're, if you are interested. 
I hope you enjoyed this one and uh, see you in the next one.